What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby. We're back in Final Fantasy in Elfheim. Uh, in the last episode, we went through the Marsh Cave and we got the Elf King's crown. So now we need to return to the Western Keep and deliver it to him. Um, so, before that, um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else we need to buy or I don't, I don't remember. I probably should have reviewed the last episode, um, like just watched it to catch myself back up on where we are exactly, because I don't really remember what I did at the end of the last episode. Um, okay, so I already bought a carp copper arm armlet for uh, Anne. Let's go ahead and make her equip that. Make sure everybody got has their uh, optimal equipment and everything. And then, since we're done with it, let's sell it. I'm not sure... I guess we're done with these weapons. I'm pretty sure we're done with this leather armor. Um, you won't get nearly what you paid for it when you do sell it, but instead of just keeping it and making it take up inventory space, you might as well exchange it for a little bit of money, since it's no longer of use to you. Um, I think we're done with these, so let's go ahead and sell them. I think you actually, maybe you get like half, half of the money that you originally paid for it, but it might not even be that much. So, but it, if you do have a bunch of, you know, useless weapons that just are not equipped anymore, then it's best to just sell them. As, I mean, as far as I would say. Um, I think I might actually get 20 potions. Yeah, I think I'm comfortable with that. And then like nine antidotes. Um, one, one gold needle to ha have <clears throat> just in case we ever need it. Um, throughout all of the game, I have never had silence cast on me, so, I don't know, uh, maybe other people are a bit more unlucky with that, but it's never really happened to me, so I'm not gonna concern myself with buying Echo Grass, but I have definitely gotten stone cast on me, so we will definitely get some of those. But aside from that, I think we've got everything. I don't I don't know if I've checked out the magic shops here. Because I don't believe I've... Let me check. Uh, Sleepra, Haste. Okay, Haste can be good. Yeah, Haste is actually really good for boss battles. Um, let's go ahead and teach that to our red mage. Oh, magic level is too low. Well, damn. We gotta level up before we can get it. Uh, but once we do get it, or once we do level up, we're definitely getting it. Because that's, uh, like I said, it's very um, useful in boss battles. Here's silence. Like I said, I've never had problems with silence getting cast on me, so I'm not gonna need that. No frost, ice damage. See, that's, that's so... I, I try to stray away from spells that are so situational that you might only ever use them like two times in the entire game. Um, I've never really used fear. I don't know. Here's poison. That one's potentially useful, but uh, we are not of high enough level to get it, I don't think. So we're going to have to gain some experience. Um, as far as the other... Uh, magic shops go. I don't know if we've already gotten everything we can get from there. Hopefully we haven't. Cause it'd be nice to get some better... Ooh, okay. Deals fire damage to all foes. Now, I've already uh, touched on this a little bit, but in future games, you won't have designated spells that are like separated between, you know, does damage to a single foe and does damage to all foes. Basically, what will happen in future games is that it will be the same spell, just various levels of strength. And 
no matter which spell it is, you can choose whether you want to cast it on just one or all of them. So, but um, the more targets you're casting it on, the weaker it gets as it spreads, spreads out, if that makes sense. Like, you're not going to be casting it at equal strength on all of them. It's gonna, you're going to take the original strength and divide it by however many targets you're casting it on. Um, paralyze, see I've never, I've never really used status spells like that. Uh, lowers evasion of all foes, that's kind of potentially useful, but I don't really plan on getting it. Thundera, maybe. Um, if I'm only going to get two level three spells, then I guess I might as well get Thundera too. Uh, but I still need to have money left over to get the white magic. Um, I didn't know that we hadn't visited the magic shops here yet. Or maybe we did and I just didn't, uh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't have enough money or something. Heal. Uh, that's really good. Heal. Um, and then we can get one more. I'm not gonna get something for fire damage. Uh, obviously, the difference between Cura and Heal is that um, Cura focuses on one target on, in our party, or you can potentially use it on enemies, but you really only want to use it on undead enemies. On, on undead enemies, I'm not sure what I said before. But um, if you use it on living enemies, you will literally cure your en or heal your enemy, and that's not... you don't want to do that. Um, it's potentially a useful strategy in Final Fantasy 2, but I still wouldn't even do it then. But yeah, don't don't use cure, don't use any healing spells on living enemies. Make sure you only use them on undead ones. Um, Diara. It's basically, it's just an upgraded version of Dia. I don't know if I want to get it. Yeah, I think I do. Because the... The undead enemies that we will be facing... Uh, from this point on in the game are going to be stronger. So just base Dia isn't going to cut it. But now we need to make our way to the Western Keep. And... Um, that was good. That's that we had leveled up quite a good bit. And so now these enemies that were giving us a lot of trouble before are only like a minor nuisance. See, that's what I like. That's how I like to be um, leveled in terms of like strength compared to the enemies that I'm facing in the overworld. Especially if I'm just... If I already know where I'm going and I'm just going from point A to point B, don't really want to deal with a bunch of hassle, you know, it's like, because there's really no need. I say I know where I'm going as I run into the coast, but let's see. Oh, I need to go around this river. I see, I see. But yeah, it. I don't see any need for us to be wasting a bunch of time. Uh, going at the normal speed When I can easily fast forward it and we're not really missing out on anything and it means that I don't have to do any editing Luckily Duncan leveled up and I'm actually gonna take this moment to heal um, Let's use cure because it costs very low in terms of MP. I Wish we were at the stage of the game where Ethers were readily available, but that's just not the case right now. Because uh, once we are able to start stocking up on ethers, uh, MP will not be as much of a worry for us. Okay. Now we made it back into the Western Keep. I will slow down again. And then, um, I don't remember if there are enemies in here or not, but, uh, just in case, in case something happens whenever we give the crown to the Elf King, I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my tents. 
in case. I mean, you never, you never know in these games. Uh, maybe somebody ambushes us or something. I don't know. But uh, let's go on in and give him the crown. Seems happy, I guess. <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos, king of the dark elves. Oh no. What? I like that little animation. With the combined power of the crown you now hold and the crystal eye I already possess. So he has Matoya's crystal eye. I will become the true elf king. It is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. Well, I'll be damned. He was asked us all along. I knew that, and that's why I used my tent. But I wanted to play dumb for the sake of you guys. But, um, all right, let's just handle this like we would handle any other boss battle. Uh, temper will raise their attack. So I want to focus on Kellen. Um, and then in Viz, let's just start ca uh, casting that one by one. Or actually, let's actually go with Protect because it's pretty certain that a lot of us, you know, or at least one of the- oh, what? That spell is so unlikely to hit! Okay. That was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so what just happened is he used death, and if that hits, it, it has very low accuracy. But if it does hit, it instantly kills whoever it was used on. So now he just fucked Duncan. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's retarded is what it is. But there's not really anything I can do about it, I don't think. So let's just focus on uh, beating him with who we have left. Um, I don't know. Do, do I even have a Phoenix down? I don't think I do. No, I don't I don't have any Phoenix downs. So there's nothing I can do about that. That's so stupid. God, what luck. Okay, I'm gonna stop bitching and moaning about it. Let's just focus on keeping alive whoever we have left. And uh, I believe these stat changing spells do stack I'm not 100% sure that's why I said believe but uh, if they do we should be good Ooh, that was a lot of damage let's get another temper going on Kellen and then uh, I don't think I'm gonna cure him uh, the fact that even one, uh, like, of his death spells managed to hit is, you know, very unlikely enough. But, uh, oh, we're good. We survived. He didn't have as much HP as I thought he did. And that's a good thing, too, because we were getting low on health. Fucking Duncan of all people though, I mean he's already behind in XP and now he's even further behind. He's like what, two levels behind now? Later on we're gonna get to a point where it doesn't even matter because the sheer amount of XP it takes for everybody to level up is gonna be so like insane that they'll still be the same level, it's just he'll, he'll get to the next level later than the rest of them will. But still, like why... Why him? Stop fucking picking on him. Eh, <sighs> sorry. You obtained the crystal eye, which we can now return to Matoya. And that is what we will leave to go do. Um, of 
course, before that, well, I shouldn't have fast forwarded. Uh, before that, we are going to heal the party members that we have left alive, and then return to Elfheim. Now I'll fast forward. Uh, we need to return to Elfheim so that we can revive Duncan. Around the river again. Uh, what fucking rotten luck. There's so there's such a small I don't know the exact percentage, but it's like it's meant to be extremely, extremely unlikely that death even succeeds. And yet it did it anyways. It's whatever. Nothing I can do about it. I'm not, uh, you know, for the purposes of a Let's Play, I'm not gonna, you know, restart the episode or something like that just because Duncan didn't survive. I mean, we beat it. You know, it's not like we all died. It's just, it's frustrating. A lot of things frustrate me in video games. If you haven't already figured that out by now, I probably should have used Diara. Alright, god damn, I just want to get from point A to point B. I've already made this clear. Like, I don't encounter rate. It's insane. All right, let's pass the inn and then go to, I forget what it's called. Whatever this place is that we resurrect our fallen warriors at. Uh, anyways, we did it. So now I'll go to the inn to make sure we are fully healed. And then I will replenish our stock of potions I think that's it. Maybe buy another, buy a replacement tent for the one that I used up outside of the Western Keep. And then once I get that stuff, we're gonna head straight for Matoya's cave, which will be quite the little trek, but hopefully it shouldn't be quite as troublesome or long, considering I know where we're going. And this this episode might end up running a little bit longer because I'm basing it off of progress made and not time taken, so. Um, I guess I could have stopped it after we uh, defeated Astos, but I didn't, you know, I didn't wanna. <laughs> And since uh, traveling in the overworld shouldn't be too, uh, shouldn't take all too long to get back to Matoya's cave with the fast forward thing, I figure it's, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. So let's actually check the map. Matoya's cave is right up there. All right, so we're gonna Trying to figure out where we're gonna dock. I don't. I wish it had the docks ma marked down on the map. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, that. Let's see. Let's go. Arched map. There we go. Uh, it does show the. Yeah, it does show the ports on the enlarged map. So we need to go all the way over here. Which is under Pro That's Provoka, I think. No, no, no. No, it's not. Anywhere that has that little pentagon up top, that means it's a kingdom. So that's the main city, and then that's the castle. So that must be... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, I'm looking along the... Cornelia. There we go. I almost confused it with Altea, which is from a 
entirely different series. But, um... So we need to go by... So I guess it is Provoka. Yeah? Toys Cave, and then Provoka. Yeah, it is. Well, that's where we need to go. That's all we need to know. So let's go ahead and slay these pirates. I really wish Duncan would have survived that. He could have used that XP, but... Uh, too late. Alright, fuck. Hit somebody else, why don't ya? They just love to gang up on Duncan. See, it's, it's mostly about who has the lowest HP and who's in the first slot in the party. But I wish it wasn't so fucking predictable. We're literally right there, just let me dock! Oh my. Oh, we can easily take care of them, and we need the experience, so it's okay. Alright, so now... Uh, no more fast forward. Well, actually, maybe I... Got a preemptive strike on a Gigas Worm, so this thing's obviously going down. Uh, I, pr I pronounce the names of these things the way I pronounce them, by the way. I just, you know... I'm not really concerned about pronunciations in this game, as compared to, like, Skyrim, for example. Because I know the general gist of what's going on in this game. In Skyrim, I have kinda no idea, besides just my general knowledge of RPG games. And that's like, you know, my limited experience playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, my limited experience with the Final Fantasy series. Um, and by limited experience, I mean as of right now, the only uh, Final Fantasy games that I have beaten are Final Fantasy 1 and 2. So yeah, that's, that's the extent of my experience. I mean, I've played other Final Fantasy games, but not beaten them. So, god damn, let me take five fucking steps without another encounter. Alright, smartass. Okay, we're back at Matoya's cave. I think now, this, after this battle, I can turn off fast forward. We're good. Here we are. And we will return her glass eye to her. But yeah, I'm not necessarily concerned about the pronunciations, so... Oh, what's this? My eye! Give it here! Don't worry, I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. <laughs> it's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. Can it wake up a sleeping elf prince from a five-year coma? I think so. You obtained the jolt tonic. Ah, I can see! I can see again! Yes, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, so now, we need to go back to Elfheim. <laughs> um, yeah, so, this is like the only time she's ever important. And it just, it, I don't know, Matoya is, uh, I guess I'm meh towards her. It's like, I don't hate her. I just really don't understand why she's in the game if that's her only moment, if that's her only like 15 minutes of fame, is giving you the jolt tonic to wake the prince up. I just don't get it. Um, but I don't really know what to talk about now. I kind of ran out of stuff. Yes, I'll just... God damn. I might not be going the right way. Hold on, let me check. Uh, no, I'm, g I'm going the right way. It's just coming across a lot of fucking lizards in the process. Or iguanas. I don't remember which ones they are. It doesn't matter. So, we need to get back to Alfheim. And, uh, it was really hard for me to bite my tongue and... God damn! Keep the spoilers to myself. 
uh, about how we wake the prince up and how the the elf king was actually Astos the entire time. But um, I think it's for the best. The, the reason I had to keep myself from giving spoilers about it is that I wanted to explain it because I know when I was first trying to get into Final Fantasy, specifically Final Fantasy 1, this particular game, I did not understand the significance, or like, not necessarily the significance, but like, I didn't understand how we were getting from point A to point B. I didn't understand why, where we needed to go. I was more or less lost because I didn't, I didn't see the train of logic. But now that I've, you know, played it, I think I've beaten it, what, twice? Um, it, it makes sense now that we go to Elfheim, the prince is, you know, in a coma. Uh, speaking of which, we need to go into the castle itself. The prince is in a coma. Uh, we go to the Western Keep, which we hear people talking about. Uh, once we're there, we meet the supposed Elf King, which, I mean, it's kind of obvious that he wasn't the actual Elf King to begin with, because you'd figure if he, like, he's talking about defeating Astos and stuff, but everybody goes on, well, not everybody, but we hear a couple people talk about how if the Elf Prince does not wake up, there will be no Elf King. And so, that implies that without the prince, they have no ruler, meaning there is no elf king. So we get the crown, we give it to him, and that's what Astos wants to be the elf, or to not let the elf prince become the elf king, but to become the dark elf king. And I guess exterminate all elves and, or like, regular elves, try to take over the world, blah blah blah, typical uh, antagonist shit. But we give him the crown and we fight him. And it turns out that he has, or he he's trying to combine the crown with the power of the crystal eye or something. But once we defeat him, we take the crystal eye from him and we return it to Matoya, who then gives us the tonic to wake up the prince. But see, you'd wish that we could just ask Matoya, hey, you got anything that can wake the elf prince up? Like, she doesn't need her eyes to hear you. I don't know. It... I'm gonna stop nitpicking. Ow, god damn. I just hit my funny bone. Uh... This jolt tonic may be just what we need to break the curse and waken the prince. I will try it at once. And lo and behold... Your Highness? Your Highness! I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You're... you're the legendary warriors! Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall follow the legend as it has been told to me by... Uh, told to me and my forefathers. Sorry, I don't know why I'm stumbling. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. And that's how we get the mystic key. Um, yeah. So, now that we have the mystic key, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna go through and try and find all of the doors that were locked previously that we couldn't get into and try to unlock them with this key. But before that, uh, thanks to you, the prince has finally awoken. You have my undying gratitude. You brought peace back to Elfheim. I awake, uh, I am awake and strong again, all because of you. Thank you, Warriors of Light. Maybe because of the pace I was setting his dialogue at that was making me trip up, but I don't know. Anyways, now that we're done with that, uh, once again, I'm gonna end things 
in this spot in Elfheim. We'll return to uh, Cornelia and uh, go through Castle Cornelia. Go through um, the the K or the the whatever it was called, the shrine, the 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 chaos shrine. There we go. Uh, we'll go through there, and I think there were some places in the marsh cave that we could unlock. Uh, there will be, we'll figure out what we can, what we couldn't go into before, we'll unlock it, we'll get whatever's inside. Uh, but until then, peace.